I am curious, for those of you going to Evo, how many of you is it your first time? Last year when I went, so many people came up to me and they were like, yo, I like fighting games before the pandemic or I like fighting games during the pandemic. That's when I got interested and now this is my first time going to Evo. Look at all of you, there's so many of you. First Evo, first big tournament, you don't know what's going on. I'll give you some advice, some, some breakdowns. One, the weekend's gonna fly by, so make sure if you have stuff you wanna do, then you, you like, you know, jot it down, you list it down so that you can try to knock everything out. It's going to be incredibly hot in Vegas. So be aware that if you go outside, it's going to be like over 100 degrees. However, the inside of everything is going to be freezing. The venue, all these other places are going to be blasting AC. It'll be over 40 Celsius. Yeah, because like it's 110 or 100. Yeah, 115 Fahrenheit. You're in a fucking desert. Like the shit is just gnarly outside. But then inside, it's like 25, question mark, something around there, right? It's like 20, it's like, you know, the temperature difference is absurd. So just be aware that that's going to happen. Yeah, other thing, wash your ass every day. Take a shower uh, and wear clean clothes. That's another one. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but, you know. Badge line is probably going to be long as hell. You need to get your badge, especially if you're playing early on Friday. They give you a free water bottle when you go get your badge. So pick up that free water bottle. There's free water all over the venue. Drink a ton of water. Everybody gets dried out in Vegas. It's just natural. You need lots of water. However long you think it's going to take you to get to the venue, it's probably going to take longer. You're like, I'm staying at the Mandalay Bay. The Mandalay Bay Convention Center must be a close walk from the Mandalay Bay. That shit is not the case. It takes forever to walk from your hotel room to the ballroom. And you have to go through security and stuff. It's a long walk. It's very likely it takes you 30, 40 maybe even 50 minutes to go from your hotel room to inside the venue, especially the first time when everything's packed and like everybody's trying to get in there. You should schedule a little bit more time to get down there than you think you're gonna need. And Evo is not a tournament where it's like only a tournament, right? Evo is a tournament where they really want you to walk around and check everything out. My advice at Evo, go check out all the developer booths that have, especially the stuff that has all your favorite games. It's very likely that they're gonna have panels there. It's very likely that they're gonna be showing off new stuff there. It's very likely you can get free posters or you can buy merch or you can pick up stuff related to the game there. Also, there'll be lots of things around playable. Yeah, someone brought a Project L. The Riot booth will be there. You can go play Project L. I'm sure the line is going to be wild. Tenno's booth is going to be selling licensed merch and stuff like that. There's going to be an artist alley that you can walk through. There's going to be tons of different developer showcases, panels, booths. All of Friday, there's programming that's like not just tournament play. It's exhibitions, interviews, panels, things like that. So like lots of stuff. Tell us more about the KI event. All I know about the KI event as someone who's working it is that it's happening. It's like a couple of exhibition matches or something. It's not super long. The other thing about going to a tournament for the first time if you want to play games, you need to ask for next. If two people are sitting there playing games like casuals, because there's a casual area at Evo when you walk in, I think it's like back to the right. Walk up and say, hey, can I get next? Is there a line here? Like what's going on? Like just ask, be like, hey, I'd like to get next. You can't just like stand there in the background and be like, eventually, not only will they notice me, but they'll assume that I want to play. And then they'll be like, oh, you would like to get the next game. Let me get off the station and then allow you to play instead of me. Like, they're not gonna do that. What kind of bag do I recommend for carrying stuff around? Anything that you can wear comfortably. I would do all your shopping at once. This is another bit of advice. Hit the different uh, booths and like, check out all the stuff you want and buy all the big things on one trip and then take that shit all back to your hotel room. From then on, not only do you not have to worry about it selling out, but then you don't have to like, oh, I just bought like a hoodie and now I have an extra hoodie on me or like, oh, I just bought, an arcade stick, so I'm carrying on this box all day. When you're gonna make a purchase that's kind of cumbersome, plan to take it back to the hotel room. I'm gonna be in the venue all day, like every day. My schedule is like super full. One thing I've realized as a commentator now is like, I've always kind of been the person, I think since I started, that they just like put on a bunch of blocks cause they're like, this guy's like not gonna like vanish. This person will be there. I realize now that like, because I'm so busy at Evo, I don't really have time to like, you know, I got to ask, do you want to come play MK? Do you want to come play Tekken? Do you want to come play Project L? Do you want to come play like all these games ask you if you're a creator, if you'd like to go there and then like have time to record or like get hands on at these booths. I don't have time to do any of that. That's like a problem that I have now that I didn't used to have. Like that used to not be an issue, but these days I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> sounds like a real job. How many of your your jobs daily are for like 12 to 14 hours and not eight hours? It's not a normal thing, I think for most people.